We'll show you on future track how this is going to play out. Again, we're still quiet here throughout the evening, but by the time we get to about two in the morning, we are starting to see some of this precipitation make its way in. Now you'll notice how the heaviest activity does stay off to our south and east, and that's going to be the trend here with this first wave. It's going to be mainly rain, and it's going to be mainly the eastern half of the area. If you're east of Highway 51, that's where you'll have the best chance of seeing some of that rain during the early morning hours tomorrow. By about 9, 10 o'clock, most of this is already gone. That's when we turn our focus to the second second half of the system and that's the cold snowier half moving in here. We'll start to see our chances for snow increase as we go into the afternoon hours, maybe by about two, three o'clock or so, continuing through the rest of the afternoon into the evening. And you'll notice how the most widespread activity with this is going to be in the northern half of the area, mainly from Highway 29 to the north. That's where we'll have the best chance of seeing some accumulating snow. Most of this will be out of here by midnight Saturday night. We still could see some lake effect snow hang on up close to Lake Superior, though, through the night Saturday night into Sunday morning. But overall, Sunday looking much quieter. And we're going to go back into that quiet pattern here after this weekend is over with. But again, still a little more active for us tomorrow. We will have the chance to see some accumulating snow north of Highway 29 is where we'll see the best chances uh, around a dusting to an inch. Once you get north of Highway 8, we could see an inch or two in the north woods. But again, not a huge snowmaker for us this time around. We're dropping down to 33 tonight. Again, we will be talking Talking about that chance for rain during the morning, a little better chance for snow in the afternoon, a high of 37 tomorrow. And after tomorrow, we will be cooling off. We're going to go with a high of 31 on Sunday, 34 on Monday, 30 on Tuesday, feeling more like December there. But then we are back into the 40s by the end of next week.